How can I get my husband out of the home if he refuses to leave is the topic of today. And I have David Traster here with me today, who's a family law attorney and a real estate law attorney. And he's going to help us answer that question. And before we jump into that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. You don't want to miss any videos that we put out there. So David, help us understand how do we make the husband leave the house while all this is happening in the divorce? There is no, the general answer to the question that you asked is that there is no way. You cannot force a spouse to move out of the home when they are a spouse and are living at that home. You just can't do it. There is no legal way to do it. There are things that people do to do it. I'm not always a fan of them. I don't recommend it, but people do it. So there is something called the restraining order in New York and in New Jersey. I'm only, I caution clients when they're talking about their divorce and they're, they we're talking about the history of the divorce. I always ask if there's been any kind of abuse whether physical or psychological that people are living people aware that there's a lot of times people just don't know the law a lot of times people are immigrants and the law is different in their countries that they're used to and they don't believe they're entitled to a protection of the law so a lot of times people are just scared to do something or to call the police but i always tell clients that if there is some kind of you're scared that you ever worry about your safety children's safety a spouse gets too loud a spouse gets physical a spouse gets violent the first call should not be to an attorney it should be to 911 police will always protect you when you are in danger they will come to the home they will look at it as a domestic violence case and they will see what's happened they find one spouse has scratches or marks or they see let's say the house has been looks like it's been things have been thrown around broken plates holes in the wall they will ask one of the spouses to leave the house and usually they will file a restraining order that prevents them from coming back to the home. Unfortunately, some people are aware of this and use it as a tool in their divorce to get the spouse out of the home. I don't encourage it. I don't recommend it. Don't believe playing with restraining orders as a way to get your spouse is a legitimate way to do it. The courts are not receptive to this kind of abuse, rights protecting victims, but people do it all the time regardless. That's in a scenario where there's danger involved. But what if part of the divorce is to sell the marital home? And let's say it was sold. As a real estate broker, I've heard of situations where the house was sold, the closing day came and the husband doesn't want to move out or let's say the wife doesn't matter right usually the stories that i've heard was the husband that didn't want to move out but i'm sure there's also wives who might feel that way in this scenario what do you do what's there to do is it call 911 or is it something else no there is nothing look at the real estate agent closing or whenever it is agreed upon the seller has to deliver a vacant home so what ha happens if the seller doesn't the buyer could seek damages the buyer could terminate the deal and same thing in a divorce so there is no even if both parties to sell the home and they've gone through the process and then one of the parties doesn't move out there's really nothing the other party could do about it they can't force them to move out the deal will probably collapse because if you're representing the buyers on that side what do you care what the relationship is between how a uh, husband and wife like your buyers contracted to get into the house they got to get into the house so that doesn't really exist what what happens a, a sometimes not a lot very rarely is that in the middle of the property during the divorce could be sold off in any number of ways it can be sold off during the divorce before the divorce is finalized or parties enter into an agreement where they say list the property we will put it on the market and we will split the proceeds one it's and that's in the agreement there is no reason for the divorce to wait for the sale of the house when there's an agreement 
So in that case, the parties could return to court where the case is and basically say it becomes one of those things that it's the same thing as a breach of a contract. The parties have a contract. One side is not following through. You could come back to the judge and say, hey, we had a contract. This guy at this side is not following through. Force them to do it. Pay my legal fees for coming back to court. And the courts will do that. But they're just, they're looking at it as a contract. They're not going to get involved into physically getting the person out of the house. Okay, so it's more court, more fees, more time, more... Yeah, I feel like what I think is right is really not the easiest thing to do, which is just agree of how to get things done and follow your agreement. I'm a big fan of that. And I tell all my clients when they call, and they hate their spouse and i will i tell them that their divorce will settle and they're like no you don't know my spouse they will never settle everybody settles okay i'm really i think we spoke about when it comes to marital house but there's many cases where there's also marital assets like for example, businesses, maybe real estate investments and things like that. And so if you would like to know, can you divorce without splitting assets? Let's jump into our next video where we'll be talking about this subject. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And David and I will see you on that video.